Good morning, gamers! I play with you five here. So, I'm gonna show you what I expanded on my Undertale map today. I know I've been talking about my Undertale map a lot and other stuff, but I just. It's a big project I'm working on, and I like to show you my progress, you know? I really haven't had any other video ideas either, so that's also why I'm doing all these videos on my Undertale map. So, as you all know, the mountain. Drink the night vision potion. You know, fall down, fall on the flowers. Here's Flowey. And you all know this stuff, the ruins. And that puzzle there. And all this stuff, the training dummy. And also, there's a recording issue in the bottom, bottom left because I think... It's like glitch textures and stuff. I think I know why. It's because the night really, really register that well, so it just kind of blends with the pink. So last time I wasn't done with this hall yet, but now I am done. And then through here, we have a little room here with monster candy. I'll also hit this save point. And over here, basically this room in the game has like crack tiles in, the, in these three spots can't pass them so you have to fall down here and then go up from what I think is the ventilation system not really sure and also three out of the four rocks recommend you push them so you push this one all peacefully and it drops the spikes which is what these are supposed to be now if you know the right path to this one you can go through perfectly you didn't read the sign downstairs but you pick the wrong one you fall down below don't step on the leaves And here's what I mean by three out of the four rocks. So you push this one peacefully. Just like that. You gotta push this one all peacefully. Then we gotta push this one. He says, whoa, partner, who says you could push me around? So you're asking me to move? Okay, how's this? You want me to move a little more? All right. And then he goes up there. It's like, hmm, that was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Oh, someone's calling. I don't know who it is, so I'm not going to answer. And then you go over here, but when you go to walk across, it gets off. It's like, oh, so you want me to stay there? Give me a real workout. So then he finally stays there. Here's a little mouse hole. Cheese. Save. And this is where you fight Naps to Blue the Ghost. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Did you miss it? Spire bake sale down to the right. There's just one switch. Go down here. These carrots are supposed to be vegetoids. And in here is the faded ribbon. Oops, not rotate it, pick block it. I'll just put it on for now. You go down here, nothing's really down here. Here's the switch. And if you go down here, another vegetoid. Now this water is healthy because the dirt is healthy on this one because it's all like dark brown. I don't know why the other one isn't popping up, but but as long as it stays there, that's okay. Because I had a lot of trouble trying to get these things to stay stay on the ground. And this is... I don't really know if this if that does anything. I'll have to do some research in the game. I mean, I've played the game like thousands of times. I never figured out what that little vent thing is for. Like in the other rooms, you use it to get down from a pit area. But that one, that specific one, I'm not sure. And here, it's supposed to be a city. It's supposed to be the city in the ruins. I've built better, I think. I could, yeah, I've, I've, I could say I've built better. But still, here's the toy knife, which is really a wood sword. I'm just gonna take that. Here's the dead tree with all the red leaves scattered everywhere. Save point. And this is Toriel's house. So this is supposed to be my room right here. The butterscotch cinnamon pie. 
My lamps are on. My dresser. My bed. You go in this one. It's Toriel's room. Here you have Toriel's diary. Why the skeleton want a friend? Because he was bonely. And here, Toriel socks. Because if you interact with the drawer, it says, Why well, it's Toriel's sock drawer. Here's her bed. And she has a cactus in her room for some reason. And room under renovations. This is supposed to be a mirror, but I have no reflection. I'm a demon. Ugh. Here's Toriel's reading chair in the fireplace. History book. Trap, beneath, trap behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This is our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Here's the kitchen. It's supposed to be the pie. Like, I tried to do, like, this. Where's the pumpkin pie? I tried to do that, but it just didn't look good, so I went with cake. Anyway, that's the kitchen. And if you go down into the basement, this is the hall that Toriel says every human that comes down here leaves and then they die. And this is the room where you fight her. Uh, and then he, then once you kill, well not kill her, but spare her, which, whichever you choose really. You go through this hall and then you meet Flowey again. And then you walk through the door to the ruins and you're in Snowden. This is supposed to be a stick lying across the ground because when you walk walk past the stick and then a tree, and then a tree like goes. You'll have to see the game to know what I mean. But the stick breaks behind when it, when you pass a tree, and then and then when you walk like a little bit further, sand starts. Sands you can see sands walk up behind you for a split second, and then once you get here, you just stop right here, and sands comes up behind you and stuff and introduces himself. And Cody loves this the conveniently shaped lamp. Basically, you're supposed to hide behind it when Papyrus comes. Here's the safe room here. And also a note. Call me. Here's my number. And this is supposed to be a fishing pole. But basically, you, you reel in the fishing pole, and then there's a note that says, Call me. Here's my number. And right here, this is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. And then the tough glove, sharpness three. You observe this well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? And it's in Papyrus's voice in the game, which is why I imitated Papyrus. Absolutely no moving! And then this humanoid dog named Doggo comes up and tries to kill you, but he can only see moving things. Some dog treats, he leaves scattered. This little ice thing is supposed has a map in the middle. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, east, Snowden. Over here is the snowman. So basically he says, Hello, I'm a snowman. I would like to see the world, but I can't move. Please take a piece of me all around the world so I can see everything. And then you can, you can, if you eat the snowman piece, you get like full HP on the pacifist. But you don't really get anything if you like take it through the whole game with you and stuff. Anyway, I'll just stop to talk about the snowman because I don't know what I'm saying really. So in here is the snowball pushing room. So if you push the snowball, you can get it into the hole over here, and then you get two gold. And these little observers, these are Alphys' cameras because she like spies on you throughout your journey. Here's Dogami and Dogaressa's Royal Guard Station. Smell danger. White, blue, red. Like white is like okay, blue is like when you watch them, and then red is destroy or something. Monster Kids word search. Not monster kids. Kids' word search, like his word search, but that's just the name of it. Eat the spaghetti. Papyrus is supposed to be the plate, but if I put anything that resembles spaghetti, it would just despawn. It's supposed to be the silverware. And of course, the save point this is the microwave. And our camera and the tree. Warning dog marriage. So then, if you go over here, there's a switch in the snow that releases the spikes. You go over here, this little snow patch. If you uncover it, it's 
supposed to be a map of the room and that red wool is supposed to be the X where the switch is. And here's where you fight Dogme and Dogaressa. So basically you walk up to the center and then they come on both sides and then they try and kill you and stuff. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. I just use blue wool blocks because the X's in the game are blue. And then this is the switch. Here's a bigger version. And then this room. It's supposed to be the puzzle, like each color has its own tile, like each color has its own function and stuff. Like red you can't walk on, pink doesn't do anything. Blue is water, orange makes you smell like oranges, and so forth. And when Papyrus activates it, it's just like one big pink line. And this is actually Meta... Oops, I broke his face. This is actually Metaton. Uh, and you know it's Metaton later in the game, because when you first encounter him in Alphys' lab, and then you go back to this point, he's gone there. And also this. This is supposed to be the Snow Dog disaster. Basically, if you don't know, Lesser Dog... He's one of the dog guards in Snowden, and then if you pet him a bunch of times, his head will keep raising up, and then eventually, after you spare him and then you come to his area, he'll have like all this like failed snow dog attempts. Let's save the point here, and here's one of the X and O puzzles, but in an icy area. And down here, here's Snow Papyrus and Sands. Here's a little ice in between the trees and then this room this is what I have done so basically the these little snowballs are supposed to be the eyes of the monsters like looking at you through the wall I might need to make some modifications because this looks bad but I don't know what I'll do I mean I've been brainstorming but I still don't know what I'm gonna do so in here is what they call the developer room Basically, go through here, it'll show like Toby Fox, because Toby Fox is the creator of Undertale, and people think that his insert, insert into the game was the annoying white dog. So sadly, that's all I've got done so far, but I think I've made like some good progress. So anyway, that's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.